Hello, eager young minds! Today, we're going to talk about problem solving involving addition and subtraction of decimals. Let's take some examples from your module. I have here from learning task 2. In a sale, a microwave cost 2,999.99 cents. Its price has been reduced by 500 pesos. What was its price before the sale? The first step in solving word problems, of course, is you have to understand the problem. It will help you if you underline first the important details. Okay. In understanding, you have to know what is asked from the problem, of course, so that you would know how to answer it. So what is asked in this particular problem is the price of a microwave before the sale. And once you know what is asked, you have to write what are the given facts. This would be easy if you have already underlined the important details because usually the important details are also the given facts. So the given facts are that the sale cost of a microwave is 2,999.99 and that the price has been reduced by 500 pesos. Okay. Once you understand the problem, the next step is you have to plan, of course. You have to plan on how to solve the problem. The first step in planning is you have to know the operation or operations that you're going to use to solve the problem. In this particular problem, the operation that you're going to use after understanding would be addition. Okay. Once you already know the important details, you know the facts, you know the facts, and you know the operations that you're going to use, it would be easy for you now to write the number sentence. Number sentence is very important also so that you would know how to, per how to compute or how to solve the problem. Now, the number sentence in this problem is 2,999.99 plus 500 pesos equals N, where in N represents the missing number. After planning, of course, you have to carry out your plan. You have to solve, you have to execute. So to solve, write first the number sentence. Since the number sentence, since the numbers involve decimals, in solving addition and subtraction of decimals, you have to arrange the numbers vertically. Okay, so let us arrange the numbers vertically. So this is now 2,999 and then 500. The important thing that you have to remember in arranging the numbers in decimals is that the decimal point should be perfectly aligned. Okay. And then, once you are done with this, you have to solve now. Since this is addition, let us add. This is 9. This is 9. Bring down the decimal point. This is 9. And then 9 plus 0 is 9 again. Okay. And then 9 plus 5 is 4. Uh -huh. And then carry 1. And then this is 3. So your final answer now would be that the price of the microwave before the sale was 3,499.99 cents. After solving, after getting the final answer, you may check if your answer is correct. Okay, write your equation that is 2,999 plus 500 is equals to 3,499.99 cents. This is it. Okay, to check, you just have to work backwards. Since the operation is addition, working backwards, you have to use subtraction. Okay. Now let us check, let us subtract. In subtraction of decimals, you also have to arrange the numbers vertically. Okay, let us arrange the numbers vertically. 3499.99 and then minus 500. Again, remember, the decimal point should be aligned. Okay, now let us subtract. 
okay, 9 and then 9, okay, just bring down the decimal point and then 9 again and then 9, okay, 4 minus 5 cannot be, let us borrow one here, this becomes 14, this becomes 2, okay, and this is 9 and this is 2. Okay, the answer is 2,999 and 99 cents, which is equal to this one. So you are now sure that your answer is perfectly correct. Let us take another example. Learning task 3. Miss Apollinar had 11,235.85 cents savings in the bank. She withdrew 850 on Tuesday and another 1,035 on Friday. How much was, this, was her balance on her savings? Again, in understanding the problem, it would help you if you underline the important details. Okay, underline the important details. Okay, of course, the first step is you have to understand. In understanding, you have to write what is asked. And what is asked in this problem is the balance on Miss Apollinar's savings. Okay, next, after writing, Okay, what is asked from the problem? The next thing that you have to do is you have to write what are the given facts. And the given facts, again, are usually the important details from the problem. So the given facts in these problems are that she had 11,235.85 savings in the bank and that she withdrew 850 on Tuesday and that she withdrew another 1,035 on Friday. Okay, now that you have understand the problem, the next step is to plan. Of course, you have to plan. And in planning, you have first to know what operations are you going to use to solve the problem. And in this particular problem, the operation that you have to use is subtraction. Now that you have the given facts, that you have the given facts, that you have the facts, and you know that the operation is subtraction, you can now write the number sentence. Okay. To write the number sentence or the number sentence in this problem, that is 11,235.85 cents minus 850 minus 1,035 equals N. We're in. And again, represents the missing number. Okay, now that you have a plan, the next step, of course, you have to execute your plan. You have now to solve. This is your number sentence. You have to solve na. Okay. In solving again, in performing addition and subtraction of decimals, you have to arrange the numbers vertically. Pababa. Okay, let us arrange the numbers vertically. That is 11, 2, 3, 5, and 85 cents. And then 850. And again, 1,035. Again, it is very important in addition and subtraction of decimals that the decimal points are aligned. Okay, once you are sure that uh, the decimals are aligned, you have to perform the operation now. Okay, subtraction. So, minus tayo. 5 minus 0 minus 0. That is just 5. Okay, 8 minus 0 minus 0. 8 again. Okay, sorry. Okay, just bring down the decimal point. Okay. And then, 5 minus 5. Okay, that is just 0. And then, 3 minus 5 cannot be. So, let us borrow 1 from here. This becomes 1. This becomes 13. Okay, 13 minus 5 minus 3. Of course, that is just 5. Okay, and now this is 1 minus 8. Cannot be. Let's borrow 1. Okay, this becomes 11. This becomes 0. Okay, 11 minus 8. Of course, that is just 3. Okay, and then 10 minus 1 means 9. Okay, so your final answer now is that Miss Apollinar has a balance of 9,350 and 85 cents on her savings. And of course, the last step is you have to check if your answer is correct. To check if your answer is correct, again, you just have to work backwards. 
since the operation is subtraction, since the operation is subtraction, working backwards and the opposite of subtraction is addition, you just have to add. That is just 9,350 plus 1,000 plus 850. The answer should be 11,235.85. Let us check. Okay. So 9,350.85 cents plus 1,035 plus 850. Let us check if it is equal to this one. Okay, this is 5, this is 8. Another important thing, the decimal point should be perfectly lined up. Okay, so this is 5. Okay, bring down the decimal point. Okay, 5. And this is 3, carry 1. Okay, 1 plus 3, this is 2. Okay, carry 1 again. And this is? 11. So the answer is 11,235 and 85 cents, which is equal to this one. That's why you are now sure that your answer is correct. Okay, and that's all. Sana may natutunan kayo. And don't forget to subscribe.